Thank you all. Bob, I'm sitting here with Ace beside me and we're both a little tearful. Um, it's wonderful to be, to be thanked in this way. Um, and it's even more wonderful not to be saying goodbye to JTS and certainly not to Rama. And I do hope to see Harold uh, on the bike ride in the spring. And I do hope to see lots of you at Rama camps next summer, 2021. And we'll see what we can do this summer. Um, let me say that Amy, in her tribute in Hebrew, I'm not sure everybody understood it, but the, where my love is. And you know, I, I speak all the time about the importance of meeting with a capital M and community with a capital C. And the search for those things myself is in large part what brought me to JTS. And the quest for them is what drew me all the time to Camp Ramah. You know, I, 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 I wanted to, to be at a place where I could connect on the deepest possible level with all of myself and not just part of myself to other people who shared my passionate commitments. And I wanted that to be my community every day. And I found that at JTS and I certainly found that among you all at Camp Ramah. And there's one thing about being involved with Ramah or being a director of Ramah or being involved with JTS or being the chancellor of JTS that you have a lot of good days and you have some not some good days, but there's no day that's without meeting with a capital M. You always know when you go to work and when you finish a day at work that your life is more full of meaning than it was before. Um, my my Dvar Torah for today would be that normally I, I would have spoken about the double portion of that we read yesterday of of Achrei Mot and Kedoshim to you which is even more meaningful this year than before because the holy work that we do is not just on Acharemot after death, which for our generation is the massive death of the Holocaust, but in the midst of it. And the fact that we can add community to people's lives in a tangible way and that we can add meaning to people's lives in such an important way right now when there's so much depression and so much actual despair um, this, this work is more holy than ever, is more important than ever. And no, nothing in the last 10 years has contradicted the conviction I came to JTS with. Uh, quite the opposite, it's, it's sustained and grown that conviction that capital M meaning and capital C community are what, what we are here to do and, and what Ramah does really well. And it can't be done without the kind of commitment from professional leadership and lay leadership that Ramah has always embodied. And, and we've built this at JTS, and we've had this at Ramah, and, and, and the combination of great professional leadership and great lay leadership is what makes organizations like JTS and Ramah really grow and are really special and makes it a privilege to work in them because one, one is literally elevated by, by being surrounded by such high quality people who are giving their all to the same cause that, that you care about so much. Um, I just wanted to end with one, one more word. Uh, actually, there's gonna be two more, two more thoughts. One is when people ask me, what, what, did, what did you learn over the last 13 years? Um, and I, I count my chance to elect here, so I'm getting to 14 pretty soon. What do you know about it's different from what you knew when you came. And then the leadership and the, and the community and the meaning were not different. I, I came with those convictions. But there's one thing I'm going to say that I, I say with a full heart, and I wouldn't, wouldn't have believed it so strongly when I came to just JTS 14 years ago. It, in, it involves um, a, a great 19th century uh, Jewish thinker named Nachman, expert in the world on Nachman Kochbol. There's certainly one of the two or three top experts on the world on Nachman Kochbol happens to be Ismar Shorty. And Krochmal wrote a, a book called Morelin Vuchei Hasman, which unfortunately has never been translated into English, called The Guide for the Perplexed of the Time, obviously based on Maimonides' book. And Krochmal believed that we're all perplexed primarily now because of scientific and historical consciousness, that God cannot play the role in modern people's lives in a taken for granted way that happened before modern times. And Krochmal argued, and this is, the, this is the conviction that I did not have 14 years ago, but which I do have today. Krochmal argued that the future of the Jewish people and of Judaism will depend on the personal relationship 
no matter how it is or what it is, that every Jew develops with what Krochma called Haruchani HaMuchlat. And he chose this odd formulation, which is not even terribly grammatical in Hebrew because Ruchani is an adjective. And then he applies an adjective to that adjective. So Ruchani you would call spiritual, and Hamuchlat, the absolute spiritual, the absolute spiritual is a term taken from Hegelian German. But what Krochmal means by this is that the Jewish people survives and thrives because somehow individual Jews, in the course of their lives, develop a personal relationship to the ultimate, the transcendent, the Holy One, the ground of goodness and truth, however you're going to define it, by one person by person. And that's what keeps the Jewish people going. And I, I believe that now. I, I, w I wouldn't have been sure of it beforehand, and I believe that now with a full heart. And I think that one of the missions of Ramah, without preaching, we don't do it by preaching, and we do it in a pluralistic way, but we do it by exposing people in the fullness of what, we, what Ramah can give them to the fullness of what being a Jewish human being can be. And in that way, we get individual kids in an appropriate way to develop this relationship to the one in God. And, you know, Mitch has this, we put together this book of uh, famous Roma essays from yesteryear. And one of the greatest of them, I think, is by Schwab. And the great Schwab, the great philosopher of, of Judaism and of relationship and of community, who had so much to do with the foundation of Camp Roma at the beginning. Schwab had this daring idea, which Seymour Fox then was determined to carry out and try to inculcate into every counselor, that the business of Roma is love. The business of Ramah is love. And I closed with this on the day after we all read Parashat Kedoshim yesterday with the Haftal Recha Kamocha. And the way Judaism teaches love in practice as not a feeling but a way of being in relationship is by doing it and by, by, by providing examples of it. And Schwab had the, the brilliance, I think, to understand, as did Seymour Fox, that Ramah holds us all because it becomes a place where love happens among campers and between campers and counselors and among counselors, et cetera, et cetera. There's so much love in this system that it, it, it's really a joy to be part of. So I just wanted to leave us all with that, um, that tribute to the founders who understood that this is what's going to keep drawing people to Camp Ramah decade after decade after decade, including those of us who direct the camps and, and serve on the board and try to make Ramah happen every summer. So my wish for Ramah is that that will never stop being um, a predominant feature of the life of Camp Ramah. Mm -hmm. Arnie, we talked about being in um, being in Wisconsin, the first Ramah camp. You're gonna finish with a beautiful Shabbat there. Uh, Jacob Citrin has formally invited us next July. So uh, if they don't open this summer, then we'll go together next summer. How's that sound? Amen. Can you hear what's on? Amen. Be the will of God. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of all of us, really, Arnie, thank you so, so, so much. Mm -hmm.